All right, so we've got a brushless motor right here and uh, 1,000 kV. So we're going to hook up, we hook this up to a three-phase uh, supply right here, as you see. And uh, we were curious to see if this would work on a three-phase sine wave, which uh, instead of using a digital waveform, which would be square-shaped, we're using a sinusoidal smooth sinusoidal uh, sine wave. Um, with the voltage to uh, make this motor spin. So we're going to put 60 hertz through it, um, and then we're going to vary the voltage right here. So uh, let's uh, we're going to turn it up. Right now it's vibrating. Now it's spooled up. Now that's the fastest we're going to get it to spin, but the more current you put through it, the, uh, the more torque you're going to get. So let's turn down the current to a bare minimum right now. And now it's still going, but it's got pretty much zero torque, so it's going to start cogging as soon as I even like touch it. But if we turn the end, now here's the thing, the uh, current's going to stay more or less constant, which is going to heat the shit out of these banana plugs, or these little uh, alligator clips right here. But now, suddenly, like you can see it's actually fighting a lot more, it's got a lot more torque to it. And yeah, there we are at minimum, and then let's see... Let's see uh, at, a, at a maximum right now. Let's just say like five amps is a maximum. Yeah, this isn't even getting like five volts. So, face so this, face this, face to phase, that's gonna be what like maybe ten, twelve volts or so. Um, yeah. So that's how you uh, that proves that you can use a normal uh, digital uh, digital wave brushless motor with a three phase setup. Uh, you just don't want to run very much voltage through it, obviously. Don't hook this up to your outlet. I have some problems with uh, the amount of current that you're going to put through it, but uh, there you go. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, please answer below.